institutions to necessarily comply with every law out there if it's a violation of their uh, freedom of expression. So that's the backdrop. Now let's move forward to the Marion case. Um, they have decided, at least from what we know has been said, that they don't want this teacher at their school because she's pregnant. The courts have looked at this. This would not be the first case. And the courts have tried to figure out, is it pregnancy discrimination? Is it something that their religious tenants would protect them and say, okay, you guys get to make the call, or is it flat out old fashioned discrimination, which they cannot get away with? I don't know all the particulars of the case, but I think in this case, the teacher would have a shot at showing uh, that this is maybe more sex discrimination than pregnancy discrimination. And let me explain that. Um, if she says, it's really my gender, because you know why? There are male teachers in this school 